People tell us all the time that they dream of coming to Paris, but they're afraid that they can't afford it. But the idea that Paris is super expensive is a myth. In fact, based on a documentary we recently watched, it's surprisingly more affordable to come to Paris than it is to spend a few days in Walt Disney World Orlando. Of course, you could stay in a five-star palace like the Plaza Atene in Paris and spend a small fortune. But you don't have to break the bank to have an amazing time in Paris. So in this video, we'll tell you exactly how much it costs to spend a week in Paris. We'll cover the cost of accommodations, meals and dining out, tours and attractions, the cost of getting around by metro or taxi, and some sneaky expenses you may forget to include in your budget. We'll even cover the cost of souvenirs so you'll have stuff to bring home to your friends and family. Allez, on y va. So first, let's talk about the accommodations in Paris. Because in Paris, the hotels are rated from one to five stars, and that has nothing to do with the reviews people give it or the quality of the hotel. It has everything to do with what amenities there are on property. A hotel with one or two stars will have not many amenities. Your room will probably be super small and don't expect an elevator or air conditioning. But if you're on a tight budget, this can be a good option. For a one-star hotel, you'll find hotels in the 75 to 125 euro range per night. And for a two-star hotel, you'll find hotels in the 125 to 200 euro range Per night and most of the one and two star hotels are not usually near major attractions next is the three and four star hotels which is what you'll find around most of paris the major distinction between a three and four star hotel is the amenities to get a four star distinction the hotel must have something extra like a spa or a full bar on site to get that status but in many respects the room size and amenities will be very similar so if you're mostly going to be out and about and only using the hotel to sleep a three star rating will be sufficient and if you want want to pamper yourself with a cocktail bar or using a steam room to relax at the end of your day, then the four star is for you. For a three star hotel, you'll find hotels in the 150 to 250 range per night. And for a four star hotel, you'll find hotels in the 200 to 400 range per night. Now you should expect the three star hotel to have an AC and elevator, but that's not always guaranteed in Paris. It's always better to check if that's gonna be a deal breaker for you. And finally, we have the five star hotels, and this is the highest rating with the most amenities. You'll find five star boutique hotels with a few rooms as well as a five-star palaces. These hotels will usually have a concierge, a spa, a full bar, and a restaurant on site as part of their amenities. For a five-star hotel, you'll find hotels from 500 euros and up per night. Now, what'll affect the price of your hotel is how close or far it is from major tourist attractions, and hotels with balcony views to the Eiffel Tower will always charge more. If you're looking to save a few bucks, you'll wanna stay away from the center of Paris or most locations within the first to ninth arrondissements. The cheaper arrondissements will be from the 10th to the 15th, and if you're close to a good metro station, you'll be within 10 to 15 minutes away Away from pretty much anything. We put together a list of our top 125 favorite hotels and they're all arranged by arrondissement. So there's a link in the description below. Check it out and see if that's for you. Now we recommend booking your hotel as far in advance as possible to secure a great rate. And 90 days seems to be a sweet spot. Next is your food and restaurant and eating out budget. Now for us coming from Miami, restaurants in Paris are super surprisingly affordable. We are often surprised when the bill arrives and know that it would be at least double that in Miami. If you know where to go, you can eat a lot of great food at reasonable prices all over Paris. The rule of thumb is to have lunch and dinner away from the main attractions. And sometimes just a couple of blocks will be enough to find a jam. Now for breakfast, you can find plenty of places in Paris to get a nice pastry and coffee for eight to 10 euros. And a croissant and a pain au chocolat is just a couple of euros in most boulangeries. And most pastries and local boulangerie are surprisingly affordable and delicious. And don't worry about eating too much pastries. You're gonna walk it off. For lunch, if you select the lunch formule available in many restaurants, you can eat for 15 to 20 euros per person for an app and a main course or a main course and a dessert. But even if you prefer to eat a la carte, lunch items are rarely above 25 euros. And remember that the service is always included. Whatever they show you on the bill, that's all you have to pay. 
Anything above and beyond that, it's up to your discretion. And for us Parisians, usually we'll leave about five euros as a tip. Now for dinner, if you budget 50 to 75 euros per person, you'll have many options available. And if you are on a tight budget, you'll find plenty of small local restaurants that will charge much less than that. So if you are on a budget with 100 euros per person per day, you should have enough. And if you're not on a tight budget, you'll have plenty of options with 150 to 250 euros per person per day. And we have a few online guides available in an app for bakery, street food, and restaurant. So if this is something that would be useful to you, check it out. There's a link in the description. Now, if you're staying in an Airbnb or vacation rental and you want to do a little bit of cooking in Paris, the weekly fresh markets are an amazing source of great food at very affordable prices. In food store like Carrefour or Monoprix, you'll find plenty of options for great food and your jaw will drop when you see the prices for a great bottle of French wine. And avoid buying anything from illegal street vendors. The sanitary conditions of how they store the stuff that they're trying to sell you makes my stomach churn. Trust me, stay away from it. Next is about the cost of attractions. And one of the amazing things about museums and cultural things in France is how surprisingly affordable they are compared to the US. For instance, it costs 20 euros to get into the Louvre, which is the largest and most visited museum in the world, compared to $30 to get into the Met in New York City. And it'll take 21 euros to enter the Palace of Versailles. The average entrance fee for most attractions is about 15 euros. That being said, you can buy a museum pass or a Paris City Pass that includes all of the museum pass locations, plus walking tours, classes and workshops, a Seine River cruise, hop on hop off sightseeing buses, castles, and more. And a two day pass is 159 euros. But the fact of the matter is that you can have an extraordinary and rewarding trip to Paris without paying a penny to enter an attraction. The first few times I came here, I didn't go in those things because Paris is like an open air museum and the best view from the Eiffel Tower is from the Trocadero and that doesn't cost a dime. But here are the average costs for most popular attractions. A Seine River cruise on the Vedette boats will cost you 25 euros. The Paris Opera is only 14 euros to visit and the catacombs of Paris are only 29 euros to get in. So if you're here for three to five days and end up visiting every single one of these attractions, you'll need between 150 to 350 euros per person and that's for everything. Now, of course, if you want to hire private tour guides, that'll be a little extra. And we've seen rates in the 70 to 100 euros per hour for a private tour guide in Paris. Also, if you're on a tight schedule, you can tell the guide what you want to see and they'll take you there without losing precious time looking for it. And trust me, every time we go to the Louvre, we get lost. Everyone does. Over the last three years, we've got to meet a lot of amazing guides, both in Paris and all over France. So we've put together a few pages on our website with our recommendations of curated service providers. We have a page with all the best buy tour activities, and we did the same with Get Your Guide. And we have a page with our favorite private tour guides for attractions in Paris, for day trips to Giverny, Loire Valley, Champagne, and Normandy. I put a link in the description. Just check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. Next is the cost of transportation. Now, as soon as you land to Paris, you will have few options to get from the airport to Paris. Public transportation is very affordable in France. The RER train from Paris airport to Paris is just 12 euros per person. So that's a great option if you're on a tight budget. And if you prefer to take a taxi, it's a fixed price. For the right bank, it's 56 euros, and for the left bank, it's 65 euros. And that's a flat rate. There's nothing to be added on top of that. And if you just want a private driver waiting for you, pricing will go from 80 euros to 120 euros, depending on the type of car and services you want. Of course, you can use Uber or Bolt in Paris, and the price will be similar to what you'll pay elsewhere. But Paris can be very congested, especially during peak hours, and they can can't use taxi lanes, so it's not always the fastest way to move around. Some people told us that their experience with Uber and Bolt was seamless. Others talked about rides canceling at the last minute or waiting for a long time. Now you have taxis everywhere in Paris, and we've used the G7 app very effectively 
and it kind of works like Uber. Paris is a big city and the Parisian taxi drivers are not always the friendliest or the most honest. Now make sure to watch our videos on taking taxis in Paris. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. For public transportation, a weekly unlimited Metro card will cost you 36 euros per person and that will include Versailles, Disney's and the airport. Now taking a high-speed train to the French Riviera, Normandy or the Loire Valley is also surprisingly affordable and super fast. You can travel to Bordeaux, Lyon or Strasbourg in about two hours, which would take you five hours if you did it by car. And we often take the first class option because there isn't a huge difference between the price for first and second class. We recently paid 62 euros per round trip first class ticket to the Loire Valley and we paid 45 euros per person on a second class round trip ticket to Lyon. Overall, you will need a budget between 75 euros to 350 euros for two people to spend a week in Paris. So let me show you some of the kind of things you'll find in a Paris souvenir shop and you'll see how much they cost. Come on, check out. There's all these kinds of shirts. It's got the stitching on top and those are three for 25. Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah, another thing that I love to get here is socks because they have cute okay. designs. They're $6.40 a piece and they're two for 10 euros. So it's very affordable, but you know, like seriously, those are adorable. That's your little remembrance of being in Paris when you're home, like that little quiet thing that nobody sees and maybe somebody sees. And right over here, you see there's all these different sizes of Eiffel Towers and stuff. It's way better to buy them from a shop because people will try to sell them to you like off of a sheet rolled out in a park or by the Eiffel Tower itself. But buy them from a store, just trust me on that. And if you're into like a hooded sweatshirt, you can find these things from anywhere from like 17 to 40 bucks, but they have a lot of different kinds of shapes with the pockets, with the zipper, with everything. But between, let's just call it 20 to 40, you got a nice sweatshirt. Here, you can find these little Eiffel Towers. Those are five bucks each, so it's not expensive at all. And it makes a lovely little decoration in your home. It does. And a nice memory. But you have smaller ones for four. And over here, you have bigger ones that uh, depends on what size you want to get. And of course, if you want to have your morning coffee with a little bit of Paris, that's right here. Those are eight bucks each or two for 14. So you can have your Paris Jetem every day. Another great place to find souvenirs in Paris is in the Monoprix stores you'll find all over town. And the selection will vary depending on the store, but you'll pretty much find these anywhere. Little tin Maxim Eiffel Towers with chocolates inside. How much are these for? That's 20 bucks. That's 20 bucks, so the Maxims is gonna be a little bit extra, but you'll find um, Angelina stuff. We have Eiffel Tower salts and peppers and oils and things. You have a hat, Paris Mon Amour. Not too bad. And that one is 22. And then you have these slightly unusual looking creatures, which are the little mascot for the 2024 Olympics. Not sure what that thing is. But it's a hat. It's a revolutionary hat. Ah, so this is a revolutionary hat that looks like, I'm not sure what. Like a bird. Like a bird, like an angry bird. And that one is 25 euros. How about that? I like this guy better. There you go. A little teddy bear. That's 28 euros because all the Olympic stuff is expensive. And then, of course, you have all the different kinds of lotions with amazing anti-aging and stuff like that. But for eight bucks, you have this body sculpting cream that is fantastic. And the flavors and the smells of the products here, they last. Like in the US, I know if you wash with a lavender soap, like it's gone. But if you wash with a lavender soap here, it lingers with you and you walk away. So here you're gonna find some very typical French cookies. These are 265. These are 139, very typical, amazing. Anything in the Lou brand people go crazy for, but these are a buck and a half, a buck 30. Then of course you find the Milka. This is Antoine's childhood right here. So you get the little two pack of, uh, of the big bars and that's uh, 329 for that. Or the Cote d'Or with pecans for, for four bucks. All of the Lent chocolates, a buck 99, 212, whatever with 
fabulous, you know, orange flavors and salted caramel flavors and things like that. And of course, you've got these other little bonbon small packets and things too. But they're all quite reasonable, you know, five bucks and under for sure. And a lot of them for under two. Now let's talk about shopping in Paris, because you can find great things to take home for your friends and family, even at affordable prices. So let me show you some of the adorable little things you can bring home for your kids and family right in this store. Come on. I bought these little Eiffel Tower toothbrushes for all of my little great nieces and nephews. And those are only five euros 90. We actually have one of these cheese graters in our house and those are 15 bucks. And honestly, this little thing I keep on my bedside. I fold it over, wrap that around my phone so I can watch when I'm lying down or just have it there handy. That's just an adorable way to hold your phone. And if you buy a bunch of stuff and you need a bag to put it in, these little things are adorable. Oh yeah. You can get the little fanny pack thing, but these little bags right here, they fold up into the little bag so you can keep it in your purse. They don't take up any room until you need to use it. And I forgot to mention the little charcuterie board with the little knife that looks like a paintbrush. How much is it? That one is 30 bucks. You can have a little cheese spreader over here for 15 or the little knives like that. Last but not least are your travel gear that you will need for Europe, which can add some sneaky expenses that you didn't plan on. And some of them can be really pricey. So let's start with mobile data. Your phone provider may work great in France, but some charges 10 bucks a day per phone for data. So it can add up quickly if you're gonna be here for seven to 10 days. So you can save a few bucks by using an eSIM if you absolutely have to have data here in France. And I'm gonna put a link in the description to a couple of options that we recommend. Everybody uses WhatsApp in Europe and you'll find data and hotspots all over Paris. Now an eSIM will cost you between 30 to 50 bucks for up to two weeks. You'll also need a plug adapter so you can charge your phone and electronics. Note that France is on 220 volts versus 110 volts in the US. So make sure your hair straightener is compatible with 220 volts so you don't start a fire. And a basic plug adapter will cost you between five to $10. I'll also recommend a money belt or an anti-theft sling to keep your passport, cash, and credit card secured on your body at all times. That's gonna cost you about 25 bucks. And of course, you're going to need a pair of extra comfortable shoes. The average day in Paris will be between 10,000 to 30,000 steps. So you're gonna need to have some great shoes. Plurge a little, get yourself a great pair. In this video, we showed you the true cost of spending a week in Paris. Next, I would watch this video about how long it takes for each attraction in Paris.